Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we are making a paper plate lion. So the items you'll need for this craft is one paper plate, a couple pieces of construction paper. Today I'm gonna to be using brown, orange, and yellow. It's for the color of your lion's mane. So whatever colors you like best, two googly eyes, a black marker, glue stick, and scissors. So what we're gonna start off with is I'm gonna stack all my papers together and I'm gonna cut strips out. So I'm gonna go the width of the paper and just cut about one inch thick strips. And you're gonna go and do that through your whole stack of paper. So it's all cut up in strips. Once your strips are all cut widthways, and they don't all have to be exact matches, some of mine are a little thicker and some are thinner, I'm gonna stack them into one nice pile again. You might need to do two piles depending on how much paper colors you picked. So I have my stack. I'm gonna do it in two piles and I'm just gonna cut or tear down the center. So you double up on the amount of stripes you have for the main. Then I'm gonna take a couple of the strips and I'm just gonna wrap them around my marker like this, just to give them a nice curve. If you did the laurel wreath craft with us, that's the exact same way we rolled our leaves. So you're gonna take a few and just roll them around. And then you just hold them to get a nice curl and you release. If you don't want to curl your lion's mane, you can use just your straight pieces of paper. I just find the curl gives it a nice look. Now that all my pieces are curled, and some have a big curl, some just have a little curl, it's time to glue them to my paper plate. So you can do this one of two ways, whatever way you find easiest. You get your glue stick and you can just put a dab of glue on the end of your paper and glue it on. And you're gonna glue it on the outside of your plate and we're gonna go all the way around the rim, but you wanna leave the center of your plate to draw the lion's face. Or if you wanna do it a little bit easier, I'm gonna run my glue stick along the edge of my plate, just section by section and glue down my pieces of paper. And I'm gonna go in a color pattern where I'm always changing and rotating my colors. Rather than doing a big section of yellow and a big section of orange, I'm gonna just mix it up and go and have the colors rotate. And we're gonna do that until we go all the way around our plate. So I've made it all the way around my plate. If you want and you still have some extra pieces, you can do a second layer of fur for their mane. And that's what I'm gonna do just with a few more pieces. I'm gonna add a little more texture, but I might cut my pieces a little bit shorter just so that they have different lengths when they're on my plate. So I'm gonna just take a small stack. I don't think I'm gonna go all the way around my plate fully again, but I am gonna go around and do a second layer just in certain spots. And I'm just gonna make them a little bit shorter to glue them onto my lion. So I have my lion with the mane all around. Now I'm gonna draw a heart in the center of my paper. You can choose to draw your heart upside down or to draw it right side up. And you might wanna draw the heart first and then decide what way you're gonna have it. So I'll show you guys. I'm gonna just draw a small heart in the center of my paper and I'm gonna color it in black with my marker. And this is gonna just be the nose of my lion. So if I hold it up to you guys, this is my upside down heart, and this is it right side up. I personally like when it's upside down. So I'm gonna draw whiskers coming out of the upside down heart. And I'm just gonna do three whiskers on each side. So 
So you'll see I have the start of my lion's face with its whisker nose. And then you're gonna take your googly eyes and you might have stick on ones. Mine have to have glue on the back. So I'm gonna put a little glue on the center of my paper. And this will be the last time today that you need to use the glue unless you have a piece of your paper fall off and you just need to restick it. So I stick on my googly eyes and then I'm just gonna draw a little smile for my lion. It's up to you if you draw the smile or not. Some people like it and some people don't. So it's your choice because it's your craft. So you'll see I now have my paper plate lion. He's got his smiley face on and he's ready to go. If you don't have googly eyes in the center of your paper, you can choose to cut two holes and then instead of being a paper plate lion, it can become a paper plate mask. Thanks for coming today, guys, and I hope to see you guys next week at the stained glass art craft that I'm doing. Have a good week.